This is Tennessee Intercourse Practice Test uh, for Algebra 1. This is question number 53. Which set represents the relation shown on the graph? Now, there's a couple things you have to think about in terms of what this graph looks like. First off, these are all points on a coordinate plane, which means they need to have an x term and a y term. So you can't define these terms in uh, one single coordinate. So this is 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. It doesn't really mean anything here. I'm sure that could represent some potential domain, or it could represent, uh, in this case, it could represent the range, but it doesn't represent the points, so that's out. Same thing here with B. It has to have two coordinates to, or two points to make a coordinate, because there's an x and a y axis. So I'm going to start looking at the parts themselves. Remember, the x term is uh, the x axis is here, and since x comes before y in the alphabet, x comes before y in my coordinates. So this point is negative 4 and then positive 2. So my first one I'm looking for is negative 4, positive 2. This one has it, this one does not. What they're just trying to do is catch you into flipping them. But remember that x comes before y and you just go over on the x-axis and go up. So the answer to number 53 is just C.